Hello. Everybody say hi. Let me know how you can hear me. Hello. Am I all by myself? All by myself? All by myself? Can you hear me? Are you able to hear me all right? Sherry, can you hear me? Hi, Robin. Okay, good. You guys, I want to show you something great. Check this out. It's my Hags t shirt. It's hot ass grandma society. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. No, wait, it's not Jenny. I get these glasses and there's like... Oh, Joanny11, hi. How are you? <laughs> All right. So, everybody, during the show, if you like what you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you hit all so you don't miss any of my shenanigans. I have two today. I pulled out two as-is bags. I also have... The Hocus Pocus, which is going on clearance. I also have what I showed yesterday. And then a couple of the sunglasses got sniped in the middle of the night, guys. So we're down two. The um, one pair is being shipped out as a gift. We know where that's going. And that is the Marc Jacobs. And the ultra cool, the ones that I loved with all of my heart, those sold. In the middle of the night so that went out this morning i also owe another lady an apology so i was packing up totes this morning thinking what i was going to take down to the new house and which part of my life because there is now a mountain of clothes as big as me on top of my bed again and i gotta work in the morning um i come across you guys remember the daisy backpack which i know sold last week so and then a few other items. And they went out this morning. I sent them all out. I, I put the money out there and express shipped them 48 hours. Sorry, I'm an airhead. I know it's only been four days, but it should have went out and I can't believe I spaced. I can't believe I spaced. We all can believe I spaced. But, all right, so I've got some old ones for you. So I'm pretty excited. I know. Well, hi, Sandra. The Ferragamo Reds. Uh, are you talking about the chunks? The chunks sold um, in the last feature sale. The chunky ones. But I'll show you uh, which ones I do have left. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Everybody look at my hot ass grandma society shirt. <laughs> I thought that would be fitting. Timu. It's always Timu. I got rewarded again for something. You know, I uh, I tell you. But I will get started. All right. So Cindy has talked me out of getting rid of this. I tried to use it, guys. Um, yeah. If you've seen my wallet and my little mini, what's in my bag, <laughs> which is sitting over here. Um, I need, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I know she's a collector piece. I do have the satchel, the red satchel that matches it. There is this one. That somebody told me I should probably show you guys online. That way y'all can try to talk me out of it. <laughs> the fish scale one. So here it is. Um, so here she is. You know, as usual, I did not grab the tape measure because that's what I do. So I'm going to grab that real quick. I hate walking off when there's a lie. But you know, I can't be prepared for my life. 
and shit. Here, there's all these boxes and stuff. Good grief. I hate COVID. It sucks. It sucks really bad. <coughs> and somebody asked me to show you guys some of my critters that I've got for the bags because I like to offer a decorating service. It's kind of, you know, kind of what I do. I know. Hags. Hot ass grandmas. Come on with it, baby. 52 and rocking it. At least not yesterday. Did you guys? Whew. I'm a little worse for wear. I'll tell you. I'm trying to stay emotionally and physically positive, but I think work is trying to kill me. I think, you know, my separation's doing its thing. So I'm a little worse for wear, but I wanted to show you what I had. So we've got 10 across. I want to say if you go to here, see there's some rubbing on it, guys. It looks worse than it is with this donut on a stick. Actually, if you look at it, when you're sitting here looking at it, you really, you really even can't see it. But there's rubbing on the corners. So it, it'd be a six and a half to a seven. Cute crossbody. I didn't think you guys would be so interested in this. I feel, I've seen some online um, lately uh, kind of popping up. But even with my rubbing, they're not in as good a shape as this one. It's like, you see the, they got the mark by Mark Jacobs on the eye here. And, but their stuff's all scuffed and scratched and yucky and poo-poo. So, mine's got a little bit of rubbing and that's it. There you go. To mark by Mark Jacobs. Super nice. Then as is in Mark Jacobs style. We got some stuffing in there. Ooh, and I don't want to put them in that bag. There we go. So you know, I'm I'm spacing. I forget what this is called, like birds of a feather. Something like that. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. Collector bags. Marked by Mark Jacobs. Now I thought long and hard. Um, I paid a pretty premium for it. Um, but if you're interested in the collector bag, there is a little rubbing. I was going to ask. I had a lady I inquire last night. I asked 130 for it. Or 135 But... I inspected it a bit more and there is some rubbing here so if you're interested a flat hundred and I will let send her out big thick pebbled leather nice collector's piece hey Kirsten Sandra Vicky <laughs> so a flat hundred and I will send her to your door They're pricey. They're pricey in that condition. So it's a birds of a feather collector's crossbody sherry. In red, Mark Jacobs. So <clears throat> somebody else also asked me about the tote, the Patricia Nash tote. Pretty big size. I do have this in that cream chalk, whatever that I was, you know, sending out. Of course, obviously a cheaper price. But this one is new. This one is $199. It's exactly like mine. Just darker. Back pocket. Has the cool iridescent fun things going on inside there. Leather stitching. Handles are cute. Crossbodies in there. And of course, you know, it has two ruchy pockets. 
and the zipper pocket. Cool little Patricia Mash totes. And she is by no means a smaller tote. So the Patricia is 13 by 12 and a half. Does have a crossbody that is detachable. Strap drop is nine. So this is the Patricia Nash cutout tote in brown. So, $200 retail. I'm asking 90. And that's it. Brand spanking new, come to your house. Something in here. All right. How are we doing so far? Patricia Nash. It can't be a Badger Live without a Patricia Nash. I mean, really. You made your first Poshmarks on four months. I had a pair of sparkly Converse on there. It took about it took about two months for that to sell. And it's like a really muggy 80 degrees. So if I get the sweating. Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe one of these days, Kristen, you know, if you want, maybe, you know, are you doing a live with Hadrian? Because if Hadrian can't get a live with you um, in a decent amount of time because he's super busy, you know, and everybody has to stand in line, I can do one with you. You can try eBay, but eBay's bigger. It could take a little longer because you might have 200 listings of the same thing on Poshmark. You're going to have 20,000 on eBay. Um, so, yeah. You know, just let me know. I'll pop you in one of mine. I'm not as popular. <laughs> you know, we can try. You can absolutely try. So next, something fun that I acquired. I showed you this yesterday. Big, thick pebble leather. Usually when you think of Hobo International, you think of the, you know, the, the thinner glove tan leather, what have you. This is a big, thick pebbled brown leather it has the two pockets <laughs> showed you all that yesterday but still now that we got the donut on a stick working uh, I show you this is a hobo international You know, I went to Home Depot and I bought one of those little tape measures. I don't even know how to measure this. Bought one of those tape measures and I lost it in Kendall's truck. It didn't even make it in the house. I don't know where it is. I'd say 11 and a half length. And if we go, because it looks like a half moon saucer, 18 up here to... 14 down here. So, Sherry, we're going to call this the Hobo Half Moon Brown Leather Tote. The Hobo Half Moon. <laughs> so, that's the next one. So, if you're interested in the Hobo Half Moon, that's what we'll call it. It's got antique brass hardware. This is a cool hobo. Yeah, hobo. <laughs> But I'll definitely do. Aw. Aw. Some sweet Kirsten. Love your pink hair, by the way. You are rocking it. I couldn't rock it. I couldn't. I think I'd be more afraid of what they would do to me at work. I wore my um, Yeezys to work one day. And oh, the slack. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the amount of razzing I got. I don't know. Probably wasn't even worth it. <laughs> so, the Hobo International Half Moon, I will let go for 65 Next, I'll give you an as-is bag. So make sure you put as-is, sherry, slash. This is a NAM bag. 
pretty cool. Nice orange color. This is as is for a few reasons. Probably can't see it on camera. But right here. A little discoloration there. Now I bought this bag from another reseller. And this is how the bag arrived. So I never showed it. Never did anything with it. I looked it up. This the website. Switch it by Nan. I don't even think it exists anymore because I couldn't find it, and there was only a few comps um, on it. It is leather, but we're gonna sell it as is because of that. Oh, it's got fuzzies in there. Ooh. Beautiful on the inside. It's got an old phone open pocket on the side and it has a zipper pocket. So it is leather. It's pretty cool. Orange color. It's a nice fall color. Handles are braided. So this as is $40. They've got, it's got the now this is like Hobo International leather, you know, kind of shiny, and it's the glove tan. Uh, yeah, this reminds me more of the International, Hobo International leather. It's a nice bag. It just needs to go $40. The next as is bags, he's, she's a big one. She is the studded Bagley Mishka. Ba Badgley, Badgley Mishka. Bag, oh. <laughs> Bag, Badgley Mishka. Got a zipper pocket in the back there. It's really cool. It's a cool tote. It is older, much older. It is genuine leather. Again, it's like the the Hobo International leather. It's not the the fake stuff that usually Bagley Mishka likes to use, the polyurethane and um, the vegan leathers. This one is genuine leather. Studs on the side. The zipper is just for a show. I tried to zip up the bag. Oh, it does. So you can do a peekaboo thing. Check it out. Oh. So you can make the bag more not so in your face if you want to. <laughs> ah, neat. So you can make it wider. Yeah, I didn't even know it. Now, the reason why I'm putting her as is is because Little tiny spot right there. And down towards the bottom. Right there. A little bit of discoloration. It actually, though, to be honest with you, looks really cool. I mean, this, it, it, will, it will scratch. It will patina. But it's got that little spot. Soft, crinkly leather. It has... An older phone open pocket. It has a zipper pocket. It's a nice bag. It's got some pin marks here on the bottom, which I can get out no problem before it's sent out if somebody's interested in that. So this is also $40. Well worth it. Lovely hardware. So if you're looking for something like this. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find it now. Or he'll find it. I'll never know. It was like just a small one on a keychain. Hi everybody. Hi Signing Solace. So $40 as is.
Bagley Mishka leather. It's a big tote, you guys. Big un. It's a big un. Of course, coming for me. It's a big un. <clears throat> All right. 14 and a half. Right there. By 19. So it's a big, it's a big one. He's at home. Should be easy to, to dye again, maybe a darker brown or whatever. I just don't have the time. I got all that stuff packed up now. All right. Next is my big old Rebecca Minkoff tote. I put this on here. I thought the colors were pretty. So if you don't like it, I'll take it off. There you go, Rebecca Minkoff. Highly structured. It's pretty. It is very pretty. I've been <laughs> it's got a zipper packing in the front I don't know if anybody's ever really used it I found a found her going through some stuff um, forgot I had it uh, squished under a bunch of other bags so I've been kind of doing a little stuff to get her back to where she's supposed to be. And I'll show you what I mean by, I don't think anybody's ever used her. We got two open pockets, a zipper pocket. It still has micro pack sticker on it, and that, and it still has attached to it. Extra leather strips. Beautiful condition. What? Did I miss something? <laughs> What's still available? This? Yeah, I just started showing it. You don't have to have the shell thing. I just thought the colors were pretty together. I popped it on there. Hi, Cindy. So this bad girl, big old Rebecca. So if you're looking for a big old structured tote, beautiful summer color. Me in this tape measure. See, I really want my new one. Ah, I'm not having a good week, man. There. 12. By 14 and a half. And a good five inches deep. Silver hardware. The, the birds of a feather or the birds beneath my wing. Yeah, it still is. A lady asked uh, last night, and I quoted her 135, but then I got to checking it out and noticed the rubbing. I didn't notice the rubbing before. So I adjusted the price accordingly. But yeah, it's still available. It still is. So if you're interested in this giant Rebecca Mean Cough Tote, I will let it go today for $80. I don't think she's ever been used because I can't prove it. And I don't have paperwork to document that. I'm not going to sell this right now. So $80, Rebecca Mean Cough will be yours.
I did have a request. I'm not, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I do not remember who asked me this. Um, she asked me in another sale. Um, I'm hoping this is the right one. The little coach baguette. Apparently, it's rare. I showed it yesterday. She's a little bitty thing. Even the hang tag is suede. It's pretty cool. It is, I think I told y'all yesterday, eight. A is an apple, one eight. Like the suede is so nice. But me and suede don't get along, so. Somebody needs to claim this because me and Suede don't get along. Oh, this Timu is still brief. It's been like six times. Yep. Mark Jacobs still available. Oh. Sorry, Finding Solis. It looks worse than it is. Finding Solace, if you look at it, not inside a donut on a stick, you can barely tell. But it illuminates it quite nicely with the donut on a stick. Donut light on a stick. I looked online. They're getting crazy expensive. There's a few on there now, but... As I was saying, I checked out Ebay's and what's not. Their, their birdies are all messed up and all that. It says Mark Jacobs around the eyeballs. Big, thick leather. Here you go, finding solace. And then somebody told me, speaking of the birds, they wanted me to show you guys, again, the bag I'm currently carrying so they can try to talk me out of it. <laughs> You're welcome to try. <laughs> I did my due diligence. Sherry has the price for this if you would like to. Just ask Sherry. Okay. Also, well, this is cool. Is it a cool Kate Spade? Hello, budget believer. Yeah, it's a little big thing. If you see the size of my wallet, I, there's no way. Oh, I didn't tell you how much. Oh, the Coach Baguette is fifty dollars. I know they say it's rare and what have you, but I'm not a Coach connoisseur. I'm not, you know, I don't follow the ways of Coach. So, it, rare or not, it, she needs to go. So, 50. So, if you're a reseller, and if this is that rare, pick it up for 50 bucks. 5 -oh, Sherry. Sorry. I get a little ahead of myself. It, it's, the, it's the hag society, you know. <laughs> but this is, I think this one's my favorite. This is a cool Kate Spade. Cool, cool, cool Kate Spade. I love it. So it's got like the, the snake print, um, but it's embossed in there. So it's not going to, I had a Dooney and Burke that had the snake print, but the bottoms underneath the snake, it, they would curl up. And it would drive me insane. I hated it. I sold it. I got rid of it. Um, this isn't going to do that to you. Gold hardware. I love the color. I wonder what Finding Solus does.
I don't know. You guys might not agree, but I just love, love this Kate Spade. So what you do is you just open this up so it locks shut. And it has two open pockets and a zipper pocket. Cool polka dots in there. We have This is a cool tilt. I love the color. I think it'd be perfect for spring. I just love teal though. I love that color. It is 12. I want to say 14. And it has a depth. A four. It doesn't come with a crossbody, but I bet you I could find something cool. You could put a crossbody on it. The hardware is immaculate. Everything is immaculate. It's cool, baby. Cool. If you want another strap drop? Should it. about six. So if you're interested in the teal snake Kate Spade, she's seventy dollars. <laughs> Next is another bag I showed yesterday. I call it my shorty fatty. <laughs> Her short, but wide. So she's a vintage. Dual contrast stitching. Her item number, let me get closer, is 13732. You want to look her up. Zipper pocket, two open pockets, of course. She's got a little bit, a tiny bit of discoloration right there. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Awesome, big, thick leather bag. She's older. I forget what they call these bags that have the the ruching in the front. I forget. Silver hardware. Buckle detail. I love it. I like my totes. I like the, the size. But I like my totes. Bigger totes. This is a coach. Wow, Sherry. Coach. <laughs> So, if you're interested, I'm sorry, if you're interested in the coach with the ruchy front, I call it the half toque, Sherry. Just call it the coach half toque, buckle detail. Sixty-five. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition. Had her a hot minute. Oh, do you like coach cross buddies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you have something special. <laughs> and I even took notes. Uh oh. Patricia Nash 
See, if I don't put the crossbody strap back in the bags, I'm going to lose it. All right, it's in there. <clears throat> this is the Coach 1317 Remy. <laughs> Remy. I did the comps on this one. The comps on this one is 160 to 220. I've seen them as high as 260 dollars. So it is not a factory outlet bag. But this is my Coach Remy. This is a crossbody. I've got the crossbody inside because you know I would lose things. Big, thick, pebbled leather. Absolute quality. All right. I'm too scared to get a haircut. Not me, man. You got three areas you can fill it up with. <laughs> Take my card out of there. There you go. Crossbody strap. Beautiful. Removable and adjustable. Big, thick, gorgeous thing. The Boutique Brown. I got it in my hand. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't care about it. I, I don't know. But I keep wrecking it, blinding it, so I think I'm just done trying to do that because I am really wrecking it. And then it just gets all brassy. Showed like two or three Michael Mark Jacobs. I have, did I? I don't think so. Yesterday? Oh, you seen, you seen the Red Mark Jacobs, and then I have it in the satchel, and then I have the one that I promised a few girls that I would show you, um, you don't see any for today, what do you mean, you don't see what for today? I did like a, accidentally did like a mini what's in my bag yesterday, trying to show that. But, there you go. this bag is in pristine condition. It is absolutely just gorgeous. It's the prettiest Remy, and it's this is a boutique bag. This is not. Let me put the crossbody in there. Beautiful. The leather is really thick. This is a beautifully made bag. So the comps were ridiculous on this. So for the boutique bag, I'm asking one thirty-five, and that's undercutting everybody, including eBay, Poshmark, everybody. I'm not a coach connoisseur, but this is a small bag. Whether it being boutique or not, because I'm not a coach connoisseur, we all know I'm a Marc Jacobs collection. I'm a Marc Jacobs gal. Um, I wouldn't pay $226 for this little purse that I wouldn't be able to set a whole lot of stuff in. It's not a Marc Jacobs, but that's my personal preference. I'm not knocking it. $135. There is not a blemish on it, my ladies. 
Yeah, I mean, you can love Coach more, and that's fine. I mean, I like Coach, but I like the wild ones, like the big ones, the big leather ones. I'm more, you know, you got to give me some Marc Jacob vibes. You got to give me some hardware. I need, I need Leatherworks, man. I, you know, yeah, to get me to drop that kind of money on coaches, um, yeah, it, it's got to be something special. So, Sherry, this is the Coach Remy 135, and I will ship it to your house. Perfect condition. I don't have the paperwork to back it up as brand new, or I would call it new, so it is like new. But I'm telling you, honey, it's pristine. So that's the Coach Remy. Ship it right to you, Sherry. <laughs> and some of these other ladies, you might have to fight them for that. But we're going to move right on to the one that, this is the kind of coach, this is like a badger coach, this way. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to call this the Coach Badass Tote. <laughs> so, I think it's badass. This was featured in the All Things Coach sale when I first started. Um, nice lady. But she bid on a lot of things. And I still have all those coaches because I never received payment. So those I will be bringing out slowly. They're packed up. And yeah, there's I still have the red one. Um Every, most she bought most everything um i was doing the 25 dollars blowout um she bought most everything and i didn't get payment for it and, and that's okay things happen no ill will i can just resell them but this was not 25 <laughs> just saying yeah so this is one of mine this is a badger bag If you guys want, you know, I can show you the coolest coach on the face of the earth. It is the coolest thing. It is the thickest thing. It is the heaviest thing. I cannot even carry it regular. I have to crossbody it. If I put even one item in it, I'm like this. <laughs> so this is the coach tote 11525. And now, Sherry, you ain't got to write those down. These ladies knew. They knew. It's got two slip pockets, a zipper pocket. The leather is thick and luscious. Do you really want me to go get it? Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? I get the peep the looks I get from people. Here's a little little tidbit. If you've seen Hadrian's live the other night, we were talking about this t-shirt that he got from Coach. That matches my bag. You know which one it is, Kirsten. That matches my bag, and I was afraid it wouldn't fit. But now I can put on the hot ass grandma shirt, which is the same size as that. So I will be asking Hadrian for that at seven o'clock tonight, man. I will go get it. So this has silver hardware. I'm gonna run and get it in just a second. The resale on this bag now is over $1,500, if that tells you anything. Okay. So this bag, I will let go for $75. Where did the hang tag go? There it is. It's it's big, thick. Um, it's, it's lightweight, but yeah, you can feel a little bit of the weight of the hardware. So this is no joke. It's a bad bag. All right. If you guys don't mind me running upstairs on the line, I will go get it.
There's a message being held for review. Did somebody cuss? <laughs> Did somebody cuss? Are you guys ready? It's large and in charge and it offends people. <laughs> Look at the size, the sheer size of this. It's got the, you can't really see it, but stamped in there is the horse and carriage. The sheer size of this. Thick, crossbody straps, removable and adjustable. Same view message. What is going on? Oh, you can show that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you know, finding solace. Your comment. They. They. <laughs> Nobody's offended by you reading my T-shirt. Trust me. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> my very first one's in my bag with Hadrian. I thought it was fitting. I used this, but everything I owned didn't even, even <laughs> put a dent in this bad boy. So it's got the lobster claw closure. It has got 85 pounds of stuffing just to hold her shape, his shape, because it's a basement, right? Yeah. It's a... <laughs> yeah, so did I, like 15 times. I, I don't think nobody is going to be offended. So the inside has a huge pocket here. The other side has uh, another big old snap, and it's raw in there. It's suede, so it's unlined. This bag is, I don't care what anybody says. You guys might not think that, yeah, that is luggage. You guys might not think so, but it is big. It is thick. It is heavy. It is a basement, and I need that t-shirt in my life. I will rock both of them. The looks, the stares, the people like, uh, <laughs> when I carry this, <laughs> I still think, good grief, I still think that this is the coolest coach bag that I have ever seen. I mean, it is no joke. Y'all wanted to see it. Told you. Coolest coach bag ever. So, but yeah, I checked. You can't really find them anymore. They're out of stock everywhere. And the only one that I could find that was even remotely for sale was pre-owned, not in the immaculate condition mine is, and they wanted $1,400 for it. Then it sold for $1,400. I couldn't believe it. But yeah. This ain't no good. This ain't no Sorry. <laughs> that makes me so happy to even touch that. It just brings my, fills my heart with joy. I don't know, I'm weird like that. Speaking of Mark Jacobs, this is a badger bag. Big, thick. Mark Jacobs satchel. There's some weight, not gonna lie. He's old. He's beautiful. He is the thickest leather ever. It's got a little wear right there. Oh, you can tell it doesn't look that bad. But this side has a little bit more wear. There is a little bit of wear. I know you really can't tell, but a little bit of wear there, a little bit of wear there. Other than that, beauty. It's not everyone's taste. We got two side pockets. Well, I'm a Mark Jacobs fan.
big, thick, heavy leather. Like it's like it looks like a bowling bag. And it holds a ton of stuff. So if you're looking for a substantial, substantial tote or satchel, I got you. And if you collect Marc Jacobs like I do, it's got the stripes, old school stripes inside. Zipper pocket. Two open pockets. <laughs> okay, so I must have had my grandkids sometime. That <laughs> because that's in the pocket. I'll put it in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's beautiful, Hana. Absolutely beautiful. It's got the functioning pockets on the two sides. I got them stuffed for the gills. Big pocket in the front. So if you're a collector like I am and you're looking for a substantial bag, this will last forever. I've used it. Not on purpose, but nice and used. I don't reach for it anymore. I've kind of moved on to some other ones. But if you're interested in the vintage Marc Jacobs, Big old heavy leather. I will let it go for 65. Maybe even 60 if somebody's really interested. This will cost a pretty penny to, for me to ship to you. Caramandy Cara Day? <laughs> I love big bags I can have. Okay. Next up, I showed yesterday. This is a badger bag. My fossil. Nice satchel. It's like a mauvey, brownie, cool. It's true to color. True to yeah. Beautiful condition. Got the big old key. The buckle is a magnetic magnetic front closure. Love the detailing on it. It has two open pockets. And the zipper pocket, and this, being a gorgeous badger bag, does come with its own dust bag. It has a dust bag. This is one of their collection pieces. Oh, it does. Antique hardware, it's like an antique brass. Like a color cross between antique brass, gunmetal type all togetherness. So if you're interested in the fossil, beautiful, pristine condition, I'll let it go for 75. I've never heard of that holiday either. I don't know. I don't know. The Kara, Kara, I, I just assumed it was one of the cartoons that you, I, I don't mean to offend, but I just assumed you were talking about a cartoon. I showed this again yesterday, the Leah Numa Italian leather bag, woven details. Three compartments. Made in Italy. It's a beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. 
I have shown it and shown it. Nobody seems to like her. Big, thick Italian leather woven details. So I'm going to put her on sale today for $65. I'm going to take 5,000 pounds of stuffing out of there. Piece of fuzz down there. That's free. I'll send the fuzz for free. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful bag. It's like a navy. Real dark navy. Beautiful. Took the little charmies off. If that works, inquiries for teal. Teal bags. I have the Kate Spade teal. And then there's my, my Mark Jacobs. That's kind of a teal. But those are the only two teal bags that I have. I've got like the mint Rebecca Minkoff. She's more of a minty. More of a minty one. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Yeah, it's like a mauvey. That's yeah, like a mauve type. Yeah. So, last but not least, of the handbags, we've got the Dune Amber. Focus, focus. Mine is in great condition. Does it sell today? I asked, I think was it was it 450 I asked for it or four? I'm gonna put it on sale for 350. If it does not sell, it won't you won't see it again till October. <laughs> I've seen them on eBay and they either have rubbing or the hardware is all messed up or or what have you. We've got fuzzies down there. I send fuzzies for free. We've got an open pocket, a zipper pocket, and two. Which, which Mark Jacobs, the little red crossbody or my bird with the fish scale? <laughs> yeah, she's in pristine condition. But I will pack her away. She will not come out until next fall. So I'm going to clearance her for $350. Genuine. It has, I think I showed you yesterday. Here's the little tag. Get this out of the way. There's the item number. And then it has a... <laughs> so hers genuine. know the Chanel's but I'm one of those I mean they're nice and all but I have a lot of quilted Marc Jacobs and I, I like my Marc Jacobs but I wouldn't I'd be so stressed out carrying a three thousand dollar bag out in public I don't want that kind of stress man <laughs> so so there you go 350 on sale otherwise she's getting she's getting gone 
They were about ready to end it. Rag and bone sunnies I showed yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So I had a lady, my favorite ones, they got sniped last night. And then the Marc Jacobs pair, I'm sending to Elaine. So I sent that out this morning. So I'm hoping that'll surprise her and a beautiful bracelet to go with it. These are the rag and bones. Beautiful. Brand new. You get all the bits and paperwork and bobs and bits and bobs and stuff. No scars on there. I like how it has a comfort nose things. Comes with its own little little pouch. It's cool. These are cool glasses. I like mine a little bigger though. I like how the closure, it's leather. My husband just heard you say sniped last night and said, oh my God, so I got sniped over. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, if somebody ever tried to take this one, you can bet that I'd be sniping them, like for real. <laughs> no way, boy, howdy, no way. I would go all redneck. So, actually I would just ask my husband to do it because I, you know, I. I could be standing right in front of you, so I wouldn't hit you. <laughs> so my tan ones had sold, but I got them in this beautiful burgundy. I know the bunny is awesome. Hadrian has the t-shirt. Beautiful Ferragamos. I now got them in burgundy. The tan ones were quite popular, and I tried to get those, but they didn't have them, so they sent me the burgundy ones. Comfort nose grips. I like how it's got the gold detail. My favorite ones went. I actually stood outside the the post office and said goodbye. Postmaster is used to me, so didn't shock him in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. So, but I did. I did do that. <laughs> I sure did. So you're going to get all the paperwork, all the bits and bobs. All the little good stuff that comes with it. Brand spanking new. Still 95. It's as low as I can go, ladies. You know, and it closes really good if you put them in there the correct way. Hmm? You want the red ones? Or do you want to see the other ones first? I got two. Yeah, let me show you the other ones, too. These are fun. I thought that Hypatia would be all over these. I don't know if you've even seen them. But yeah, the red ones are yours if you'd like them. Well, they're, they're more of a burgundy and they're cool. 
We need a cocktail. <laughs> you now you really can't see because it's so dark, but You did? Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't get it. They're out of stock. And the ones, the glasses that were sniped last night, that were my ultimate favorites. <sighs> no longer available. They don't know when they're getting more in. <laughs> do you like your tan ones? Are you enjoying them? I hope oh I'm, I'm glad you do. All right, you got your bags. These are some cat eyes. See these? These I thought had a real Hippothea vibe. <laughs> All right, let me put my eyeballs on because I can't see what you guys are saying. How much is the MJ Teal? <laughs> Because um, I'm still carrying that one. Mm -hmm. If you really like the you're you like the birdie with the fish scale teal, I will let that go for one forty five. I spent one hundred and thirty five on it. So it'll cost me about 10 bucks to ship it. I'm not looking to make any money on it. Uh, yeah, the Kate Spade teal is 70. The Marc Jacobs is 145. If you really want it, I will move out of it. I will clean the lining. I was so excited when I got it. I moved right into it that I didn't I didn't notice that the lining needed a little cleaning and I will do that and make it pretty. Cuz anything that you buy today, guys, um I am on shift. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's my weekend. So they will go out Monday morning. Oh, actually, it's early enough yet. It's 1.30. I'll try to hit the post office today. Black Furla. But your burgundy ones will be coming to you. Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> thank you, Kirsten. I love you guys too. So if you're interested in my bag, um, you know, just what I paid for it, and it'll cost me 10 to ship it to you, so it'll be 145. It's not cheap. If you want it, um, it's heavy pebbled leather. Not the leather, <laughs> leather. It's got really cool details. It's even got that detail on the buckle in the back. It's a cool bag. It's got, I keep my keys and stuff in the front. It's got the magic bracelet in there still. <laughs> so if, anybody, if anybody's getting rid of one of these little pouches, let me know. I need a new one. My Mark Jacobs has about had it. I keep my key fob on it. But see, that's what I don't like about patent leather. It's going bye-bye. And I need a new one. So, keep my key fob in there because I don't need, everybody at work don't need to know. That's my key fob. You know, if I do work in a, an environment, you know, in a logistics environment, so I don't trust everybody that's going to come in contact with my stuff. So it's got a zipper pocket. It has needs to be cleaned up, but I will hit that. It'll clean up beautifully. I was just in a hurry. 
to get into it. And then this goes all the way down in there. It's all my crap in there. <laughs> there you go. Yep, it does. Yep, silver. These are functioning pockets. I don't use them for anything. But they're sizable. They're going to go about this deep. So you can hide things in there. It says Mark Jacobs. Oh, this is a cool bag. They're asking a lot of money for some real beat up bags on Ebay's and Poshmark for these. They don't have the cool detail like mine does. But mine's not all beat up. It's got a little tiny bit of rubbing right there. But if you step back and look, you can't even tell. The donut on a stick will show you. Can't even tell by looking at it. Beautiful. And I have it all the way down on the lowest because sometimes I get a lot of stuff in there and I just crossbody it. So if you're interested, that's what it's going to cost. If not, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'll keep it. Because I do have the big red satchel upstairs. But that one needs a little bit of tender love and care. I still have this one. The little tender love and care. I'm going to put my stuff back in here before my dogs decide to get scrappy. And that's all I need is for my puppy to grab a... You guys should see my puppy. Right, wait, look at her coming. <laughs> Him seeping. <laughs> now the price, the all the sunglasses share are ninety five. All what I have left, except maybe the rag and bone. We can do the rag and bone for eighty five. Did you see it? <laughs> so. Hot ass grandma society. I don't remember where I got this shirt. Oh, look, more Timu. <laughs> but that is all I have right now. So think about it. I do offer shipping to Canada now. It's a flat 40. And I can put all the way up to like... I think they said 15 to 18 pounds, and it's not going to cost any more than 40. Um, I do offer payment options. So if you're interested in the duty and it's, and it's kind of out there, let me know. Uh, is there anything else anybody else wants to see? I know we all want to see the Bateman coach, but. Nash. <laughs> the Mark Jacob bag at work. I'm confused. Oh, you're at work. Which Mark Jacob, hon? Sherry's got the price of the crossbody. It's one forty-five for the for the cool bird with fish scales. Cool hardware. <laughs> heavy. I got some stuff in there. I think it looks like a suitcase. <laughs> I 
put the strap down even more. But that's how I wear it when I have to wear it out. And then I leave it like right here so everybody can make faces at me and stuff. I'm good with it. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, so yeah, just email me, ask any questions that you have. If you like what I'm throwing out there, please like, subscribe, hit the all button so you don't miss any of my shenanigans. And the fun things we're going to get up to when I hit a thousand subscribers, that's going to be cool. So, I'm working on that. So, if you're interested in any of these, send all questions. Doesn't matter. No such thing as a dumb question. The rabbit and I, Mr. Mr. Bateman Rabbit, will say, stay crazy, and we hope to see you soon. Miss the prize the last one. My bag that I'm currently carrying is 145 I paid 135 for it, and it'll cost me 10 to ship it. So, you know, if, you, if you're interested, you want to reimburse me what I pay. I mean, it's birds, fish, scales. I mean, and it's Mark Jacobs. I mean, but that's me. <laughs> but. Stay crazy, y'all. Yeah. Stay crazy. See you guys tonight at uh, Hadrian Sale. Love you. Me and this phone don't play nice. Oh, I'm still streaming. Bye.